S-Class six cylinder. We've got a GTR motor and some ballast in this McLaren P1 to get it into S-Class. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna see what happens here. Oh, what? Hold on. I'll just pause through that guy and we'll be good. <laughs> I've got hard tires on because I think this car will melt mediums if I tried them. Uh, I think it was like, I was around 36% after maybe two laps. Uh, so if I try to run that, it would have been rough. Um, so we're sacrificing some pace on the tires, but let's see if I can make this work. Honestly, I should probably swap this car to sport tires and run uh, a lighter car, just so that I don't have to worry about the tire. Um, oh geez, what is going on here? The tire is wearing, and I don't have the tire disadvantage of running hards. Uh, so that's something to think about for the next build of this car, or for a rebuild of this car. Probably something I'll get to eventually. I actually pushed that portion of the corner, that worked perfectly. We got a few fast drivers in this lobby, we'll see what I can get done here. Roadrunner himself, the man himself is in this lobby, Michael RR. Former, former Forza RC competitor, and I think he even actually won uh, in 2017. Very fast driver, but as he said, and as we both said, we're not what we used to be, that's for sure. Let's see if I can get by this Porsche, though. I would love to do that soon. And there we go. Double pass. I don't know where Roadrunner is right now, but he's driving a Corvette. Let's try not to crash. I had to pause there, because if he didn't go, so I was over. There's nothing I could have done to avoid that. Sixth place, though. Honestly, I probably should get in the habit of pausing more often. Usually I don't. Usually I just try and avoid it with, uh, with driving, but uh, it's not always possible. Yeah, the hard tires don't feel great. I'll tell you that. They don't feel great at all. Losing a bunch of time in the corners, but that's all right. Let's see if I can continue uh, working my way through here. Let's see if I can close the gap to that top five. Car's pace was decent on mediums, but hards is just not the way. The uh, leader, I believe, is driving an R390, which is, you're not going to beat that car here. Um, but that's all right. We got a bit of a funny car here with the P1. Three to go. Having a little bit of fun here. Catching this top five, though. Two seconds back now. Gapping the field behind though, which is nice. A little bit of breathing room. That was terrible. I've missed that corner both times I've gone through. Let's see if I can hit it next time around. So for reference, I was running 27s with mediums on the only lap that I ran. So I feel like 26 are probably pretty doable. Let's see what I run on the hards here. Just trying to stay on track, not go off. Use the grass to turn a little bit. That's tough. 
see if I can go underneath this Lambo here. But I won't run out of tires. Only positive. <laughs> MSX, what's she gonna do? Lambo's right on my tail. That was better for me on that corner, but I can't really use the exit, unfortunately. NSX was on the outside there. Couldn't accelerate out of the corner. Sliding quite a lot. I'm guessing he's gonna slide up the hill both times here. Maybe I can just go underneath him? No, I can't. I'm not going to force that. That's too risky. Where can I go? Where can I go? He's hitting the brakes big time. I'm going to try and get him underneath in turn one. Backed off a little bit going into the last corner, just to make sure that I could get a good run there. We should be clear now. I don't think he has enough straight line speed to pass me on the straightaway when I get a bit of a gap. Actually hit that corner better that time. Maybe I should have just gone with mediums and had no tire on the last lap. Honestly, with the difference in pace, it probably would have been worth it. Considering I'm already three, maybe three and a half seconds off what I would have run on mediums every lap. If I have four laps of mediums and have one lap that's really, really bad, it's still probably worth it. So yeah, if I was on mediums, I probably, I, I feel like I would have been in the 16 or in the 26. His tires went yellow before the last lap. When did they go orange Roadrunner? But that was a, um, not too bad of a race. I was in traffic for a little bit there. Finally got free. Oh, it was a 29.2. You're right, Zoom. It was a 29.2 on mediums. It wasn't a 27. It was a 29. For some reason, I thought it was a couple seconds quicker. But 68% at the end. That's not too bad, Roadrunner. So I probably would have been around 75% at the end. Okay. So probably still would have been worth it to run mediums. Because I was running like 30s. I feel like... It must have been 28s I was thinking I could probably hit. It would have been close. It would have been close. But anyways, not too bad for the first outing in the P1. Roadrunner picking up second place. Well done. Um, I didn't mind this car. It does feel heavy. It does have a bit of understeer. Could probably tune some more of that out. Uh, of course, I was on the hard tires, though, so mediums, I think it would have felt fine. Um, but not too bad. I'll take it. S-Class six-cylinder featured multiplayer. We're bringing out the Evo. Let's give it a go here. Laguna Sica. Um, not sure how this is going to go. I didn't get a chance to test how fast this car is here, but we will see what happens. Let's drive to the back. Let's get going. I will follow Roadrunner. Oh, he's not going to let me go. Or he's not going to let me be behind him. All right, he'll follow me through the field, and he, he will probably pass me at some point, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, that guy is really slow. Really hard on the brakes. Let's get around all this nonsense. Try and go inside here. 
There we go. And Roadrunner is following through the field. Uh, inside of the BMW, BMW's got straight line speed. We're gonna look inside anyway. Just take it. Big crash. Let's go that way. Hopefully this doesn't turn into anything too bad. He's not gonna give me room on the inside. That's fine, we're good. Ooh, BMW on the straightaway there. Can't really do anything about that. Just get around them. All right, we're okay, we're okay. I'm alive. Took a bit of a penalty for that, but that's okay. Barely survived that whole mess there. Ford GT is parking on the exit. I hope I can get this guy in the straightaway or into the next corner, but he's got straight line speed. There's Roadrunner in the vet with the straight line speed coming around the outside. I'm going to bet on the inside here and hope that it works. Can I take the outside? Ooh, hard on the brakes. There we go. That should be it. Oh, a bit of undershear from the Evo. And there goes Roadrunner. Alright, let's see what we can do. How many more positions can I gain? Now I gotta follow him through the field, but he does have that top end. Way better than mine. I do have the corner exit though, so we'll see how it goes. Couple cars getting wide. Getting in a bit of a collision. Ooh, I'm off. I'm gonna hit the brakes. Try and avoid a penalty. Got one though, unfortunate. Alright, get the power out of the corner. Roadrunner dancing under himself. Then he takes off there. I would love to get past this Mercedes. Oh, he's going way too deep. He's blowing the corner. There we go. We're still sticking together. Let's see how many more positions we can gain. Oh, he's a little wide. But as soon as this car hooks up, it looks good. Evo not doing too bad here, though. All-wheel drive, obviously not the preferred drivetrain, but, you know, sometimes you can make it not too terrible, and I'll take it. Eight point nine back from the lead, so that's out of reach. But this group here is kind of what we're battling for right now. The top two, I think, are out of reach. But we've got myself joining the field here, or joining this little pack. Roadrunner is trying to fight through it here, and this is for the last podium position for third place. Gonna yeah, just. Cover off the inside here, so the 911 GT1 can't fly around you. Let's see if both of us can get by. There we go. Nicely done. So that's probably a fourth place for me, barring any craziness. Ooh, they're battling pretty hard back there. We're going to pull away from them now. 
With the penalty, there's just, I don't think any way that I can get, get that position from him. Ooh, a little bit hot. I gotta be careful, because with the all-wheel drive, the Evo can be very prone to understeer. All-wheel drive and extra, right, extra weight. But if you drive it properly, it's fine. So I can't be sending it into corners too hard. Honestly, I could probably dial a little more oversteer in as well. Probably on throttle. Give it some more um, torque to the rear. Give it a little bit more. I think it's already at 1 in 40 sway bars, so maybe adjust the roll center, drop the front a little bit. Surprisingly, not that bad on tires, though. Roadrunner is going to get the last podium position. I'm going to come home in fourth place. I'd say that's pretty good for a, a pretty chaotic lobby. Let's see who's going to get past this lap, though. Are we going to be able to steal it from the top two? Oh, so close. All in the 25s, 25 25-4, 25 25-8, and 25-5. Evo's looking not too bad. I'll take it. Wait, hold on. He had seven seconds of penalty? What? I almost stole third place. Jeez, I don't know how you do that, but he must have been doing some crazy nonsense stuff out front there. Um, I'll take it, though. 28 or 25.8 was dirty too, so I don't know. Maybe he was jumping the, the corkscrew or something. That's wild. Uh, unfortunately, I did take take that 0 0.7 penalty. Honestly, I didn't really gain anything from either of them. Um, but whatever, that's fine. Fourth place, I will take it. Evo's looking not too terrible.